Uh, still cold, still cloudy. What else is new, Kim? Well, I don't know. Can we lighten up? Can we brighten up? Can we do one of the two? Can we do both? Let's find out right now with meteorologist Ray Petlin. Ray. No, back to you guys. No, no, uh, we have clouds. These are going to stick with us, but later on in the forecast, we actually do get a little sunshine coming back. So the next couple of days come with clouds, but it gets better closer to the weekend. Tonight, we have the clouds. We could add a couple sprinkles on top with uh, a little light snow or a little drizzle. You can see some of this activity uh, back into Steubenville, down to Moundsville, Wheeling, almost up to New Philadelphia. So a little light precipitation in the form of very light flurries or drizzle. We also have a couple returns that show up as you look into uh, the ridges of Westmoreland into Somerset County and a little activity that also wants to show up uh, looking right on that uh, northern part of Armstrong County. So from Catanning almost up to Rymersburg. So very light flurries up that way. And that's all we're really going to be dealing with. We don't have to worry about accumulations but it's going to be a cooler night. Temperatures right now in the mid-30s in most cases, and we are expecting these temperatures to stay in the low to mid-30s again tonight. So we didn't have a big warm-up today. We're not going to have a giant cool-down tonight. In Pittsburgh, we have those cloudy skies, 34 degrees. The winds have calmed down enough where we don't have a wind chill. They're out of the west-northwest right now at 3 miles per hour. Temperatures will dip down to upper 20s, low 30s. 29 is what we're looking for in Pittsburgh, and right back to the mid-30s for highs tomorrow. So not much difference into tomorrow than what we had today, or for that matter, what we had yesterday. The precipitation's having a hard time holding together, so just those isolated little sprinkles or flurries trying to show up. And you can see here on future casts overnight, just some light snow up in the ridges. You might get a very light coating, but generally accumulations are not likely. Tomorrow, same deal, little pop-up flurry here, pop-up flurry there, but nothing too heavy. I wouldn't be surprised to see a little drizzle in a couple spots as well, just as those temperatures are real borderline at this point. Thursday, this is sort of a stepping stone in a different direction. You'll notice we have these cloudy skies, but they start to break up a little bit. The clouds start to break up a little bit. I don't think we have to even worry about the light precipitation here. And those clouds break up a bit for Friday, but I think they come back into the evening before we break them up again for the weekend. So we're going to start to see some sunshine showing up. We just have to wait a couple more days before that gets here. Tonight, 29, cloudy, light snow. That's it. 37 with spotty drizzle or flurries tomorrow. Nothing too heavy. 37 degrees. So very much like we had the temperatures today and yesterday. And that's going to be very much how the temperatures are going to be for the next week. These mid to upper 30s, very consistent temperature wise. Lows in the mid to upper 20s, very consistent on the low temperature side of things as well with more sunshine breaking out especially for the weekend. Good timing of sunshine uh, mixed with clouds. It's partly cloudy for both Saturday and Sunday, mostly cloudy Monday and next week, and a few clouds still trying to linger into Tuesday, but I think it gets a little brighter again. And remember, with this little bits of drizzle and flurries around, make sure you get the KDK weather app. It gives you an interactive radar so you can see where they're at, and it gives you the current conditions. It gives you hour-by-hour -hour forecast, daily forecast alerts, and a whole lot more for free. Search CBS Pittsburgh in the App Store and Google Play.